I noticed uh, a mole on uh, just at the bottom of my calf and uh, it could have been there for a long time. It could have just uh, appeared in the last few weeks or months, but it's obviously not a part of your body that you, you see very often, the back of your leg. It just looked a little bit strange and the GP took one look at the mole and said, well, it looks um, a little bit strange. Um, you know, it's quite dark. It's, uh, it, it's a little bit raised up just to be on the safe side. I'm going to refer you to the dermatology unit at uh, Newcastle RVI. So I went away, got my results. Um, uh, it was only about, about a week later to say it was a malignant melanoma and that I would need to come back in. And uh, they decided they'd take some more of the skin uh, from around the mole uh, out just to, to see whether it, uh, it had spread. It was a mixture of relief and, and sort of uh, trepidation, really, because I was relieved that they'd seen it and they'd taken it out so quickly and they, they, they wanted to do some more. But obviously at that point, there was the concern that it might have gone into, into my bloodstream and, and, and spread. The, the GPs are, you know, they're, they're well briefed. They, they do this kind of thing all the time. They know where to refer you. They know themselves what looks like a good mole or a bad mole. And so the whole process is very quick, very efficient, very easy. And at the very least, it gives you um, the, the peace of mind. In my case, it, you know, probably saved my life. And then it was a case of going back to the hospital every um, six months for, um, for a checkup, both of, of that area and, and elsewhere, just to make sure that you know, there the, the, are no other moles manifesting themselves in the same way. Uh, and I did that uh, every six months for, for five years, and earlier this year got the, got the five year all clear. I told my doctor early, it saved my life, it could save yours.